what women really want is so highly wondered that even a movie was created around it. Guys think that chicks are really complicated creatures, and in many ways, we are. You're absolutely right. But when it comes to what we really want, it's actually pretty simple. So sure, you know, so for example, if you're thinking about gifts, what do you give a chick? And you think, well, should I give her something expensive, something like really nice, really bizarre, really fun? It comes down to really, we want something really thoughtful. It doesn't matter how much it is, just something really thoughtful. In fact, I have a client who comes to me, um, I'm his dating guru, and he always asks me advice in terms of where to take girls on dates, what to do for them on dates, what kind of gifts to give them. And he's often surprised by my answers because you can, you can have an amazing, exquisite meal, okay? You can spend so much money on this insane meal, and yeah, it will be remembered. It, it, it will be incredible. But really, the meal that will be more special, and I know this from personal experience, is a meal that, is, that has heart in it. So for me, my, the best meal I have ever had, ever, and I still remember it, the most romantic meal I've ever had was nine years ago. I still remember it. It was, a, it was, a, it was cooked for me, and it was um, tuna three ways, and it was amazing, and it changed my mind and my heart about someone, and I will never, and it wasn't just the food itself, which was exquisite, but it was the environment and the energy and, and the love around it. So, you know, yeah, we love nice things. Absolutely. Yeah, I feel se real super sexy in, in expensive stilettos and I love my bags. You know, yeah. Do I love these Rockin' Republic heels? Yeah, I love them. And these um, Louboutins? Oh yeah. Th these make me feel just super sassy. And Dior's? Mm -hmm. You can bet it. I, I love these shoes. And bags. Do I love this Dior bag? Uh-huh. And this Hermes bag? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. But with all the stuff, I would trade all of the, the things that I have for something that's so much more important. And that is a feeling of home. In fact, I did trade this insane lifestyle at one point of everything, all the riches that you could imagine, dream of, couldn't even dream of. I had all of these things, but what I didn't have was the heart, was the life, was the home. I had homes, I had houses, but I didn't have home. And that is what women want. It's that feeling. It's that feeling of home. It's the ability to exhale. It's comfort. It's looking into each other's eyes and feeling completely safe and loved and, and being able to be completely themselves without judgment and being able to watch your dog run around in the backyard with a smile on her face. That's what women want. Women want home. I mean, a, h a house helps. <laughs> Place to have, to put that feeling of home really helps too. But I think that some women also, they don't realize that, that in the end that's what's most important. And there are those women who, are, who will give up the, um, the heart in order to have all of the stuff. And um, it's, it's taking a deal, right? Well, what is more important to you. And I think even those women who take that deal, um, because I was that woman, not that I took a deal, but I did have that, I had that life, and I saw a lot of women who were in that life, and they were miserable, but they, they were okay with it. They had made the decision. They, they decided to deal with it because they wanted the stuff, but inside, they were sad, and I saw them crying all the time, and they would look at couples that had less financially less things and they were jealous and envious of these women who had 
home, that sense of home. So when it comes to a holiday, when it comes to a gift giving time, when it comes to anything where you, you need to give something wonderful to your girl, if you want to give her a couture bag, by all means. If you want to give her some Dior's, uh-huh, she'll love them. But don't just do that. And if you can't afford to do all of that or you don't want to, that's fine. You need to do something that is actually sentimental. Um, even if you're not a great cook, even if you're you're not a great poet, even if you're not a great whatever, just do something from the heart because that's really, in the end, what we love. It's not about going broke in order to have an incredible time. Go camping. Camping can be amazing. You're not going and spending, you know, an insane amount of money on a hotel. You're just together and it's wonderful. Some of my best vacations have been camp trips, <laughs> really. So. And I'm not a granola chick. I just want heart and home. And that is what women really want. <laughs>